Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. There are countless vampire movies out there, going from Nosferatu in 1922 to Dracula, True Blood, and everything in between. The new film Abigail takes a crack at the monster movie subgenre about a young vampire ballerina. It's in theaters, and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. Abigail starts off with a home invasion with a group of criminals tasked with kidnapping Abigail from her home. All they know is that she's the daughter of a very wealthy man, and they're all set to walk away with millions if the mission goes off without a hitch. Giancarlo Esposito stars as Lambert, the leader of the group, who informs them that they must keep Abigail in this dusty old mansion for 24 hours. None of the criminals know each other and are given aliases named after members of the Rat Pack. Melissa Barrera plays Joey, Dan Stevens is Frank, Catherine Newton is Sammy, and so forth. They each seem to have their own skill in aiding them along the mission. Now, it's not long into the night when they realize that they're locked, bolted, and trapped in this house, and that Abigail is no innocent young girl, but rather a ferocious vampire. The film also stars Kevin Durand, Will Catlett, and the late Angus Cloud. Abigail comes from the directing team of Matt Battinelli Olpin and Tyler Gillette, who go by the name Radio Silence, and the film is written by Stephen Shields and Guy Busick. Now, it was Shields' idea to kind of mash up a heist film with a vampire movie and just kind of see what happens next. Radio Silence is certainly the right duo for the job, as you can really see their directing style at play if you've seen their previous films like Ready or Not, Scream 5, or Scream 6. It's a self-referential a whore with a bloody, bloody gauntlet thrown down for the audience. It certainly feels like they know how to play up the vampire stereotypes, the haunted mansion tropes, and of course just having a creepy kid at the center of the story. I will say that I think that the less you know about what happens, the better. The mystery element is there, and I think it has, uh, it helps to kind of have a love of the vampire subgenre if you want to have fun along the way. Now, much like the movie Clue, each of these characters are strangers, so they begin to really distrust one another along the way, which adds in another element of fun. Catherine Newton and Melissa Barrera are continuing their work in the horror genre, really making them contemporary screen queens. Newton has some really great freak-out moments as the techie member of the group. Now, Alicia Weir previously starred in Matilda the Musical and was a complete 180 here in playing the diabolical Abigail. She's a really stunning young t triple t threat talent that's really up for the dance sequences, the fight choreography, and just all the blood that comes along the way. Abigail may only work for its intended audience, but Matt Batnelli Olpin and Tyler Gillette know what they're doing with this horror mashup. They play up just the ridiculous concept, and it's clear that they're aiming for laughs and screams with the jump scares and the snark. I'm giving Abigail three out of five ticket stubs. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. And I got to interview Alicia Weir, so check out that interview. It's now posted. Give that a like as well. I do a lot of celebrity interviews. New ones coming every week, maybe every other week, uh, depending on the season. So check out my interviews. I'd love to get your thoughts on them. And follow me on social media at Paul's Movie Trip. Do you have a favorite vampire movie or TV show? Leave me a comment. Maybe you like something old school like Nosferatu. Maybe you like something a little bit newer like True Blood or Twilight. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching my review of Abigail. This is Paul's trip to the movies.